guys welcome back to another video I am so excited for this one in particular because as you guys know I absolutely love my balcony and this may or may not be my last time having a balcony so hopefully my next apartment has a balcony but since it's my last run for the summer I really wanted to do a makeover and Ikea was kind enough to sponsor today's video I am over the moon to partner up with them again you guys already know how much I love Ikea so I went ahead and ordered from their summer collection. I actually made a clean with me for my balcony not so long ago which I'll be linking down below for you guys so you can see exactly how I deep clean my balcony because it was quite filthy let's just say. So I'm not going to be cleaning like I normally do I'm just going to be spot cleaning and moving everything out of the way to bring in the new stuff. So that being said I hope you guys enjoy this video make sure to check the description box for everything that I'll be using and linking down below. Without further ado let's jump right into the video. All right, so here is the current state of the balcony. I actually deep cleaned it not so long ago, like I mentioned. I'll be linking that video down below for you guys, but I still have bags over here piled that I need to donate. And by the way, most of these stuff that I'll be getting rid of, I will be donating as well. Starting off by getting everything out of the way and putting it inside of the apartment, basically pick and choose what I want to donate or throw away so that I can have a blank canvas to work with. By the way, let's just say that I chose the worst first day to do this because it was so hot and humid and basically I was just sweating the entire time I was moving things cleaning and building furniture so watch me struggle for most part of this video also very fun stuff I actually found a lot of bugs in this box so yeah great times. Now I'm just rolling up the rug and then I'm going to be vacuuming the floor. All right, so I ended up moving the chest and I had this puddle of water from the AC. So I'm just going to be cleaning that and also cleaning the walls and the floor and basically ended up turning into a cleaning session. So not shocked over here. All right, so moving on to all of the amazing things that I got from Ikea, starting with this rug. First and foremost, I um, struggled because the rug ended up being way too big for my space. I should have definitely measured it, but I didn't. So this is what it looks like. I feel like the color is not coming true to color right now, but it's a beautiful, beautiful rug. It was a little bit too big. What I ended up doing was just tucking it right in that corner and hopefully playing it off with the furniture. And it actually, I mean, it, it turned out to be okay. All right, so bring out all of the boxes and furniture, starting with this beautiful charcoal grill that I ended up getting for Eric specifically because he actually grills a lot out here. And I feel like it's just a beautiful and great quality grill. This one is honestly like top notch. I feel like it's so much better than the one that we had if you go back and you see that one. The actual sand for the grill though was very hard to build. So I ended up leaving that for Eric because I wasn't going to build everything by myself. But moving on to the next one that I was very excited about and of course a music break. Let's do this. Boomba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stick till the end if you want to see some bloopers and how I actually built furniture, but I am going to be moving on with my beautiful bench that I'm so excited about. This actually turned out looking a lot better than I envisioned and I just, I love how it came out. So 
yeah, just continue to watch me build furniture and struggle. All right, so these are the chairs that I ended up going with. They're so beautiful and exactly what I was looking for. I had this mood board and vision and like aesthetic for my balcony makeover. So these were exactly it. The only thing is they're not outdoor furniture. So of course I did get like a cover for them. So just keep that in mind. They're not outdoors, but I ended up getting them because I will be using them in the winter inside. So here I am just taking a break and then everything just started to fly all over the place. And that's when break was over. Next thing to build is the table and then just going to be moving things around as I please. To decorate, I ended up getting this faux plant and also a vase for the table. And this turned out to be the following day. Unfortunately, it was raining, so I had to stop filming, but I went back to Ikea to get a few more things. But I highly recommend getting a cover for your furniture, and that's what I did. I'm taking it off and putting it away. I also got these two lanterns, some pillows, planter stuff, and also an outdoor rug or mat, better said. So the pillows are honestly all for aesthetic pleasing because they're not waterproof, but I'm going to be putting a waterproof cover and then I'm just going to be moving the grill, adding some plants, the outdoor rug, and also this is what the grill looks like pretty official tissue if you ask me. I also got these beautiful planters up here and the faux plants are also from Ikea. And then I switched my planter essentials for a blue one because it just goes better with the vibes, you know? Last but not least, I got this tray which I ended up putting some fruits for my reveal. And this is what it turned out looking like. Oh my gosh. I honestly am obsessed with how everything turned out. Again, love the chairs, love the rug. This is actually the real color of the rug, by the way, which I feel like it wasn't coming out true to color earlier, but this is what the chairs look like up front. Again, just be careful and maybe add some covers to it like I am doing. Love the table. I feel like it's the perfect size and height. And then the little vase is beautiful. The faux plant. Oh my gosh, you guys. You guys know that I'm all about real plants, but this one is my first faux plant aside from the hanging ones and it's just absolutely beautiful it looks real and perfect the bench turned out being so perfect especially for seating and honestly i just feel like everything just tied in really really nicely um, and then here i have my chest with some pillows and the other side looks even better i just love how everything turned out you guys i'm obsessed i feel like it's such a nice vibe and then the grill also turned out being so perfect and fitting for this side of the room i am obsessed with everything as always everything will be linked down below so make sure to check that out and i also wanted to show you a before of what it looked like in case you forgot and the after so thank you so much for watching thank you so much ikea i hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time bye
take it to the grave.